Alright, so welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial and we are continuing making this horror game. Well, this is um, the Dark Rooms. And now in this episode or in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a main menu or like a settings menu GUI, okay? And we want to make it nice and simple, looks scary, I guess, I don't know, but that's our goals, okay? We're just trying to make it look nice. Okay, we're making it together, right? I insert a frame, All right, cool. And it'll be like that for you guys. So let me just uh down to the size and properties and you're gonna do one comma zero comma one comma zero. Then it'll cover the entire screen. What I did is I made it black, uh the background color, and I made the background transparency like 0.8 or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's just say that this is complete, okay? Your menu, let's just say you've you're done designing your menu and uh you you like it like this okay but also before we actually script it and um get into the main stuff here's how i organize it basically okay so this is the main frame so which uh basically uh when you click on visible the whole thing is gone now and then you click on visible again and it's back and it's easier like that because if you have everything in separate frames and have it all unorganized it's gonna be a whole lot of hassle um scripting it um so this is why you have to put everything on one frame and also inside this frame is the settings so this is the main area here as you can see and then we have the controls frame so this is the controls of the settings so the controls part of this let's see then it could be the video one next but i don't have those ones yet i didn't make those ones yet uh and i'm not even done with this controls per frame and yeah that's so on and so forth okay it has to be that simple and the title frames is the more frames like that we can start getting into the scripting so let's insert a local script um inside of the gui itself now you're gonna follow what i do okay and i'll explain as i go on so you can learn all right so this is good for you oh, cool uh GUI equals to script.parent. Uh, so basically, script.parent is the parent of this script because the script is under uh, here, and uh, he, that's the parent of this. So this is basically a child. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I explained that right. Main frame, this child, main frame. Okay. Now it's always good to use find for child or wait for child. Okay, there you go. Damn. All right, so now what we're going to do is the button. Dot mouse button one up connect function then we'll do all this In frame dot visible isn't equal wait equals equals to false uh then main frame dot visible equals to true else uh mainframe of visible equals to false which i'll show you what it does okay i'll show you uh what this script does so far so let's click play if you click it boom look at that and then click it again see boom 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 uh, but as you can see um it works so when you click the settings icon boom and the background goes blurry all right which is pretty sick and uh yeah see look it works perfectly and you can click the x button and it closes it and it goes back to normal so as you can see this is how i laid out my gui so i have the mainframe so if you don't know how to make guis already you should go ahead and maybe watch tutorials and stuff on it but my biggest tip for making guis is to sort it out okay organize everything um the way you like it and also what i what i also did to make this um to get a better understanding of what how I should make my GUI is I searched up uh, this reference I don't know if you can see it this one here as you can see so I just searched up horror game UI and then these came up and I like this one because this one looks nice and simple as you can see and I went for that similar design but I of course made it my own Anyways, I hope this tutorial helps you um, uh, I mean I know I'm, I'm just recording myself making the game and uh i'm hoping that it actually helps you uh, yeah make sure to like the video and share it to someone please share it to someone who actually needs help that's really important um but yeah th thank you for watching and yeah if you share it i'll give you zero robux not even capping